Hi, welcome to another Onshape Wiki tutorial. Today I want to show you how to assemble this engine. And let's use subassemblies and mate connectors and make sure it moves appropriately. So let's go for a new assembly, create, I call this seven cylinder engine, make it public, create public document, so you're not limited within the 10 documents boundary, go for the assembly. Okay. First, insert this part, it's the housing, and select the origin, and confirm. Now let's fix this part, and it's fixed. Next I want to insert the cylinder at least one the cylinder and move it over here confirm confirm now let's do a cylindrical mate within this face and its axis and that face and its axis. Confirm. Now let's check the limits of this mate constraint. Activate it and you can give it limits. So right now there is no minimum maximum angle. Let's go for 90 and take a look. This looks okay. And give it a distance. No. So maybe zero would be nice. So let's check it ten and ten, make it twenty, twenty. That's more like it. And twenty two, twenty two. And confirm. Nice. Let's do a circular pattern. Go for circular pattern and I want to pattern this part. The axis of the pattern should be the axis of this housing and make it equal spacing and I want to have seven instances and I don't want to put on the face of instances of this one and confirm now I want to create a sub assembly so I will Move this one and go for a new one. Call this sub assembly piston public create. So 
let's go for the assembly insert it first maybe this part and send it on the origin confirm and let's fix this one okay now let's insert two more that's uh, this part and this part and confirm now if you want to align these parts you would need some mate connectors but at first I could at least do some normal constraints so this should be aligned with that axis Okay, confirm. Still can move it right here. Now let's add some mate connectors. Mate connector. I will go for this in the center of this part. Confirm and I need another one with this part. So let's check the center and make a realign and realign with this cylinder and confirm. And now I could align these two mate connectors with a planar mate. So this one and that one should be aligned planar. And confirm. Now it's centered. This is an interesting concept which I never met before in the other programs, but it works very well. So Let's add another cylindrical mate, and that's this one, and this axis right here. Confirm. here so let's give this a mate connector go to mate connector and make sure you catch the one in the middle yes confirm now again I could do a planner mate between mate connector 3 and maybe mate connector 2 or 1 doesn't matter and confirm now let's move this up and you could make a fastened mate so you could position this sub-assembly better and then remove this fastened mate but I will leave it like this let's go back to our documents and open the assembly let's hide the cylinders like this and insert our 
subassembly this assembly and just put it right here sorry Now let's align this axis to that axis. So go for a cylindrical mate and put this axis to this axis. Let's check it. Yes, it's okay and confirm. You can move it over here and you can position these parts somehow independently and in non shape seems to be every subassembly is already a flexible subassembly it's not rigid it's flexible so if you want to have it rigid you have to make it rigid on your own so if you want to move this just select it and you got these handles and you can move it maybe like this okay now I need five copies of this subassembly so I go for assembly control C for copy and control V for paste another one paste another one paste another one and another one now Let's align these as well. So go for cylindrical mate, this axis to that axis. Confirm. This axis to this axis change the direction confirm another one axis to Axis confirm again axis to axis. Axis to this axis, confirm, and this already aligned, I suppose. Let's check. Yes. Now let's arrange these toil parts a little bit. Two 
like the handles. Okay. It's a little bit tedious, but it's a good exercise. Okay. That's okay. Crazy stuff doesn't work. Why? Move this maybe over here. Last one, this one. Yeah, like this. For the moment, that's okay. Now I need another subassembly, or I could do without subassembly. So let's insert. those and this one and confirm okay and now let's align these parts so go for a cylindrical mate and you want to use this one and this axis confirm now let's create some mate connectors as before so go to this mate connector this one confirm and another one which should be centered to this face and should be realigned to that axis okay now I can do as before a planner mate between these two connectors and it's centered confirm. I need another one in this part. Mate connect and make sure you got the centered one. That's the one. Confirm. And now let's align all 
this axis with this axis right here. Confirm. And then make a planner connector between the mid connector 3 and mid connector 2 and confirm. Now let's move this. Okay. And the line this axis with that axis right here. check if it's pointing in the right direction, yes, and confirm. Nice. Now let's hide the housing. That's this part. And move this in a more convenient position if possible. Maybe like this, okay. Drag it a little bit in this direction, and then you want to align all those axes to the main part right here. Okay, let's align these. Go for cylindrical mates and this axis should be aligned to that axis and confirm. Always check because this happens very often. So drag it. like this. Okay, another cylindrical mate. Maybe let's take this axis and that one. Confirm. Again <laughs> Just move it like this. Another cylindrical mate. This axis and that axis. Confirm. Another one. This one, come on, and that one, confirm, another one. This axis and that one. Confirm. And the last one. Now it should work. This one and that one and 
confirm yeah now it works maybe let's hide the housing for a moment and insert some connecting pins so insert That's the one. Put it right here. Confirm. Now let's align the axis. Okay, with that axis. Confirm this face right here with this face over here it should work now it works now let's make a circular pattern like this Intense not instance is not yeah that's the part one twelve that's okay and the axis of the pattern should be this axis and I want to have not a equal spacing but six instances and the angle should be three hundred and sixty divided by seven and confirm And that's the wrong direction. So make it the other way around. Let's show the housing and maybe the cylinder and the other cylinders as well. Now still one part is missing. Go to insert, browse documents, my documents, and take a crankshaft. Put it maybe over here. Confirm. Now let's make a planner. This face. No, this face with that mid connector, yes, to that face right here. Okay, confirm. Take this axis and that axis, confirm. And now last mate this axis and this axis, confirm. Now if you move this crankshaft, all the other parts will move as well. So let's make it translucent. And you will see if I take this one, all the parts move accordingly. So hope you enjoyed this video.
and see you to the next one. Bye bye.